Alright, what's going on guys? Luke have another PvP build for the Firestone patch. I'm back on my Magpla with a penetration base build. We are around at 40k pen with 500 ultimate points, but effectively I'm at around 30k penetration. With front bar, stuns. When you do damage to an enemy who is off balance, your physical spell penetration is increased by 5k for 10 seconds. We can easy proc stuns with toppling charge. A really good synergy and back bar another penetration set called crimson oath cast an ability drink a potion or using a poison that applies a major or minor buff to yourself on ally sends out a wave it's a 360 degrees wave by the way within 12 meters we gain 3.4k penetration for 15 seconds really powerful never used it before usually it's more a pve set or used by tanks in general but also works in PvP. Then Marcoon, a Smithic, one trainee, and Balog of course for extra pen. I'm on four light armor pieces and three heavy pieces, five impen, one well fitted and one sturdy, full infuse on the jewelry with two spell damage glyphs and one magical recovery. Sustain is definitely an issue, that's why I use one region glyph. Then stone small and sharpened with the flame damage enchant. Y2H though, with 2H we gain 3.3k penetration with the passive heavy weapons, plus the sharpened bonus for another 3.2k, so it gives us a little bit more penetration than do it. But if you prefer do it, go for it. With do it, you have the advantage to have two glyphs and the possibility for non sharp, so a little bit more weapon spare damage on top with a little bit less penetration. Back bar sword and board, powered sturdy, with the crusher glue for even more pen. Alternative go with the escape is poisons. Quick look on the skills, topping charge, like I said, uh, definitely needed for the off balance and our stun. On top, even a gap closer, which is really useful against, for example, streaking sorcerers. Then purifying knight, punching sweeps, our spammable. Then radiant oppression, definitely needed. I put out uh, Karma Hunter for Radiant Depression and it works way way better with an Execute and you can basically use it at around 40%-ish. Really powerful. One of the strongest Execute if not the strongest one. Then Degeneration for Major Sorcery as Offensive Ultimate Dawnbreak of Smiting for extra 3% spell damage just slotted with Slayer. Then Purse Armor for Minor Major Breach, almost 9k penetration. Race against time, a snare removal and for minor force and major expedition. Honor the dead, our burst here. Channel focus, resistance buff and sustain. Extended ritual is purge and extra heating. And sparrow is defensive ultimate. Alternative, you can go with the psychic ultimate, temple guard for minor protection. As race, I'm not for extra resistance, ulti regen, max stamina and HP. Better choice would be definitely Breton. High Elf or Dunmar. Mundus, the Ator for extra magical region, Kirkus Hitus with buff food, 21 points in health and the rest in magica. Potions, the crit potions with major prophecy, health and magica. Otherwise we don't have access to major prophecy and if I'm really under pressure, let's to use the tricep potions. CPs, Daddy Aim, Master at Arms, Exploit and Ironclad. You can also put out Daddy Aim for Biting Aura to empower your jabs, but I prefer Daddy Aim to increase our damage, especially of Jesus Beam with Oppression and Topping Charge and Perfect Knight. My opinion, not worth anymore to just empower Punching Sweep in this case. Red CP is Sustained by Suffering, Pain Refuge, Celebrity, and Slippery. Combination start with degeneration for major sorcery and plus armor for minor major breach, then pre buff yourself with race against time or channel focus. Like this, we can proc Crimson Oath on our back bar, then purifying knight into toppling charge, into jabs, DB, and Jesus Beam. That's it with the build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
delight, you are my lucky charm. I hold you close in the night in my arms. And when we open our eyes, my voice fades away. Cause you gave me your heart in the light of day, in the light of day. And when we are